Net neutrality. Earlier this week, I told you about how these so-called consumer advocacy groups that oppose net neutrality are actually astroturf. They're funded by, in one case, the NCTA, one of the biggest cable company lobbies by other conservative groups. It is all a huge sham. This is going to make you even more upset, unfortunately. And Vice has uh, uh, done an investigative report on how uh, you, Lewis, actually, this is interesting. You're in Austin, Texas, and Austin, I believe, is a candidate to get Google Fiber Internet next, right? I think Kansas City is where it started. That's correct. Uh, as far as I know, Austin was supposed to be the next city. Even without Google Fiber, there are many cities that are already f wired for high speed fiber optic Internet, but they are not allowed to use it because of deals that have been struck between the cable companies and the cities. And in, in general, here's the deal. Fiber would give you gigabit speeds when Comcast comes in or Time Warner comes in and they give you 25 megabit, 50 megabit, maybe even 75 megabit in some cases, maybe a little more. I don't even know. They don't want people saying, oh, well, uh, Comcast is, is uh, this expensive and it's this fast. But there is this citywide fiber network that's faster and maybe cheaper, maybe the same cost. So Comcast, Time Warner, they negotiate that those networks cannot be used and made available to the public. This this is a disaster. These are agreements between local governments and 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 cities and the cable giants. These are not statewide or federal regulations. Every town would have the ability to make a different deal. But of course, they want to have Comcast there. They want to have Time Warner there. So they agree not to develop their own fiber network. Increasingly, more and more of our lives are going through the Internet in some form, whether it be because you're browsing the Internet or because work requires the Internet or because your medical records are being transferred via the Internet. The idea should be that the Internet reduces inequality between the haves and the have nots. And for a long time and in many ways, it has done that. We are now setting up a situation where net neutrality, the lack of net neutrality, the lack of Internet freedom is going to exacerbate these inequalities. And it's just sickening what's going on, Lewis. I mean, we, we have these fiber networks in so many cities and the deals are done. Can't use them. Right. This is a huge battle right now. Um, but, you know, net neutrality, fiber optics. But I think eventually we are going to see the Internet as part of the commons. I think it's going to be completely ubiquitous. And I think I think we'll get there. But uh, this is just a, a little hump we have to get over a very annoying one. There's a really interesting example, actually, from where we were originally based in Massachusetts. The town of Leverett, Massachusetts, has municipal high speed Internet. They built this out by issuing a bond. Essentially, they, they got a loan from the people who live uh, or rather they took out a loan and then they did a special assessment on people's taxes. So the people in the town pay a tax for a certain amount of time for the loan that was taken out to develop this network. And if you consider the tax, which is around twenty five dollars, and then if you consider the high speed Internet and cable TV fees, which they pay, which I think are around sixty dollars, they pay eighty five bucks a month for, for the tax and the service. That is still less than what most people pay, what many people pay, unless you have very basic service for Internet and cable TV without a tax. Right. If you just have a normal Comcast TV and Internet deal or Time Warner, ATT, you probably pay more than eighty five bucks anyway. And the town owns this soon. The tax part will be done and they'll have sixty dollar a month high speed Internet. And it's just a great example. Now, the reason why they were able to do this is that this is kind of like a town that's on the end of the line and it's a small town. So companies like Comcast and ATT and Time Warner didn't really want to develop Internet, high speed Internet there. They just didn't want to invest. They didn't think they would make enough. So just because it was done here, doesn't mean it can be done everywhere that it would be easy, but financially it can absolutely be done. And we, we really need to do this. We need to make it, as Lewis said, a common carrier, part of the commons. And I, I'm just not very optimistic because of the corporate control that exists over the Internet already. Yeah, it's going to be a long battle, but uh, we will get there eventually. I mean, things keep going paperless, things keep going digital, and it's just it's the